Today I'd like to introduce you to an intriguing object that I came across online some time ago. An automated hand that simulates finger movement during moments of waiting. The version I had seen online was powered by a motor with an integrated RPM reducer in the DC motor and a motion transmission belt. However, I revisited the project ensuring that it relies solely on the DC motor. And of course a power source, in this case two simple 1.5 volts batteries. This modification makes it possible to 3D print approximately 90% of the components, making the project more accessible. The 3D model of the project was predominantly crafted using rhinoceros, with the exception of the fingers, which were meticulously modeled with the help of mesh mixer. While I'm not an expert in organic modeling, I'm still satisfied with the overall result. The 3D files for this project are available for download through the link in the description and are completely free for my Patreon supporters along with all my other projects. So if you appreciate the work I do, I invite you to subscribe. It's the best way to support a creator. Now let's delve into the components that make up this device. A DC motor, a pair of 1.5 volts batteries, a 13 tooth gear that transfers motion from the motor to seven driven gears featuring 26 external teeth and 13 internal teeth, two additional 26 tooth gears, a transmission shaft four transmitters, four connectors that serve as contact points for transferring motion from the shaft to the fingers, obviously the fingers, the base that holds all the components together, an optional cover which you can choose to use or not, depending on your preference. The rotary motion is transferred from the pinion to the first reduction gear. The first gear has 13 teeth, while the second one has 26. This means that each time the smaller first gear completes one rotation, the second gear only accomplishes half a rotation. Essentially, at each transition from one gear to another, there is a halving of the RPM E revolutions per minute. After conducting various tests, I found that this reduction ratio results in the right RPM value close to 30 RPM, which is roughly one rotation every two seconds. By halving the RPM at each gear transition, we also achieve higher torque, commonly referred to as rotational force or intensity. This ensures that the transmitters mounted on the shaft have enough thrust to lift the fingers. These transmitters are staggered on the shaft by about 35 degrees, creating a smooth and natural movement that mimics the motion of various fingers, similar to the operation of a carillon. Now let's move on to the assembly process. First, assemble the first four gears in the initial slot and secure them to the base using the mounting pin. Do the same with the remaining four gears, keeping the gear with a single crown facing downward towards the motor slot and engage them with the previously assembled four gears. Next, add the other gear in the single slot located on the left, near the finger slots. Mount the pinion onto the motor and insert the entire assembly into the dedicated slot, ensuring that the pinion meshes with the last gear in the first slot. The motor should fit snugly, but if it doesn't, you can use hot glue to secure it in place. Proceed with the assembly of the transmission shaft, which is divided into two parts. Simply assemble everything by following the alignment guide on the penetration pin and then insert the four transmitters designed to be assembled like clips. Insert the connectors and rotate them to find their natural position. Once this is done, you can secure the shaft to the base by inserting the core of the shaft, which will then be fastened at the ends with the provided stops. However, remember to insert the thumb into the designated slot first, or you may encounter assembly issues. At this point, the assembly of the transmission system is complete. To connect the fingers to the transmission system, simply attach the connectors that receive motion from the transmitters to the fingers. The tolerance is quite tight, but if they don't fit well, you can use some sandpaper to make necessary adjustments. 
At this point, all that's left is to secure the fingers to the base using the mounting shaft, which will be fastened with the provided stopper. The mounting shaft has a non-circular section. You should keep the base flat facing downward. You can conceal the battery holder inside the device or keep it outside. There are many types of battery holders with similar shapes and sizes, which is why a battery slot was not included in the design. You can use double-sided tape to secure it inside, making sure it doesn't obstruct the transmission shaft. The cover can be attached using the provided clips, and it can be raised and lowered as desired, depending on your personal preference. In anticipation of Halloween, I've also created a bone-shaped finger skin. You won't find these skins on Cults 3D where you'll find the rest of the files. This skin is exclusively available to status symbol Patreon members. I hope you've enjoyed this project. Remember to subscribe to the channel and follow me on Instagram.